As usual, after I release a camera review, an update comes out, just like this update here for the Pure Eye X that came out right now. And this improves some of the features here with regards to the camera. First of all, in regards to the red maple sensor that should give us a little bit more of color accurate photos, but also the video mode has been improved. So what I notice is immediately here, and I'm doing this test now at 4K 60 frames per second using the internal mic, so you might hear a car right next to me here just driving off, or yeah, just driving off. and. Yeah, this one here, 4K 60 frames per second, what I notice is that the zoom sliders now indicate which one are the physical zooms, like the normal wide one and the ultra wide that I can switch to, which is quite nice. And the other ones have a different color, so uh, not a different background color, so that you know immediately, okay, those are digital zooms, digital crop-ins, they are not physical zooms, and they will have worse quality. But what do you think about the 4K 60 frames per second recording here in terms of video and the audio performance on this as well? So far, I think it is pretty good. But let's check out the photos and see if we can see and notice any improvements in terms of yeah, the new Red Maple configuration there. Let's check out the photos. This is the first selfie shot with the main camera sensor it's still as good i didn't notice much of a difference it's not using portrait mode it's natural bokeh that we have here with this one which is quite nice looking as you see here this is 2x zoom actually i didn't notice much of an improvement as soon as you zoom in a little bit further you can see that it's like like an oil painting especially where the complex structures are so yes this shot even though the main camera sensor is the best uh, it's not always producing a very nice shot as you see here uh, with this oil painting kind of uh, shot but if you zoom out share it on social media no issues at all three and a half times zoom here it's okay but nothing right to write home about you can see it's like not improved it much in terms of detail levels there then we have macro like shots and this one here is uh, done with let's go to details to check it out here with the Actually, it doesn't state what, what kind of millimeter it is. <laughs> I think I did it with the 2x zoom here with the macro kind of shot, or 1x at least. And the details are nice, but it's like not the most detailed kind of macro shot that you can get out of there. Then we have another ultra wide angle. This one is a bit weaker, as you see here. So more complex structures and it is having some issues. Colors are nice, however. The colors all over the place are very, very nice. I didn't notice much of a problem there. This is uh, a 1x uh, on Timmy here. Very nice. He was a bit exhausted and uh, resting a bit in the shadow. This is an attempt of a three and a half times zoom shot here. You can see it is not 100% sharp. The macro capabilities of this one are not non-existent. You have to go a bit further away. This is a 1x shot, actually not 1x shot, this is a 2x shot, so the 48 millimeters I think it is. And uh, this one is working a lot better there. As soon as you have this complex structures, yes, but this one here with the brick works, no issues at all, very nice detail there. And this one is surprisingly good and doesn't have like this uh, oil painting kind of um, yeah, effect. This one here, an attempt with the ultra wide angle to shoot a macro and this works nice and then there is AI and you can use AI not only in portrait mode for human subjects but also for such kinds of things and this is now AI created you can see here this little uh, yeah, wand magic wand that sh shows you and share, uh, shares you that is like AI created so it is sharpening up a little bit getting a little bit more details out there and adding a nice background blur to the other one which looks uh, kind of realistic eventually and yeah, this is the ultra wide angle again of Timmy here, the ultra wide angle doing a good job here. Uh, as soon as you go to the right side, however, you can see complex structures, the holes in the fence, and it's like, um, yeah, not doing such a great job, but it's an ultra wide angle for this. I think it is doing a good job. Portrait mode here on Timmy. The good thing, they improve portrait mode definitely. The colors are a bit nicer. Timmy has white fur and you can see his white fur here and also his first strains, the, the, the cutouts are nice, at least until it gets to very, very fine details. You can see here uh, on his tail, his finer details that are a little bit lost eventually. But this is, I think, a very nice job indoors. With when you activate the AI mode, you can see here the AI is activated. You can get plenty of details out of this shot, even with a three and a half times zoom. 
You can see how much details I get here out of Timmy's fur and his hair around his eyes. It's very, very nice. And uh, yeah, here as well, this is now two times and it's a bit softer, but still very, very nice details that you can get out of here. And then a shot of me also with AI edited, which adds a nice background where you can see my wife and my daughter there in the background playing and detail levels. It's a bit of artificial. We know already that Huawei is always recreating the eyebrows so probably, but this is like close to what my eyebrows really look like. So if you have like enough light and enough details, then it is uh, looking very nice. The eyes, however, is like, it's looking a little bit too artificial in my opinion. And this is no matter if you use the AI. Uh, to optimize the image or not it's looking like this so yeah mm. the rest the wrinkles and so on are definitely there the cutout is nice it adds there very realistic as well and uh, yeah i like it so far so yes in portrait shots you notice a little bit of improvements when it comes to the image quality but the rest is almost the same as as, as i showed you with my uh, camera review so nothing really new here nothing groundbreaking new at least that i noticed other things that you will have in this update are improvements within the gallery. So sorting uh, the album by different uh, possibilities like times, time created, file name, file size. And if you are in an image, you can simply rename the image now, which is quite useful. And when you are going into edit, we have now a text tool where we can set uh, text here and you can freely move the text. You can set the styling here, like the size of the text, bold, can even have a nice background to it. And uh, yeah, this is very, very handy indeed for editing uh, stuff here. And if you have the possibility to plug an external storage device in, you can select uh, multiple files here, select multiple, and then have the possibilities to move or copy them over to this external device without going to a file manager, which is quite a handy feature indeed. And then we have something also on the outer lock screen. So let me show you this. So when you're on your outer lock screen, you can just simply unlock this and I uh, don't want to set up and I can just swipe to the right. And then I have here the Celia assistant or Shawi Shawi. How are you today, Shawi? Hi there, I'm Shawi. Your friendly assistant from Huawei. How can I make your day better today? So you can see this one is working nicely and it's uh, integrated so you don't have to have the wake up call always. You can just swipe to the uh, left actually like this and it will open up Xiaomi and you can ask it uh, things to do. Otherwise we have now a plus button here. So if you didn't find how to add applications on the uh, lock screen, on the outer screen, we have now a plus button where we can add more applications onto here. But as you can see here, this is still a bit limited and I hope that they will at one point lift the limit. Another thing not mentioned uh, by the changelog, but I noticed and discovered this one, is when I go into photos now and take a photo of myself or a video, let's just take a photo for example, and uh, have this photo here right now, I can uh, now go into one of those Android containers like Droitong or uh, Easy Abroad, and I can go to X and for example then go to photos, and I have immediately the photo there in the gallery. So I don't have to go through the transfer app here that we have on Droitong or an, on Easy Abroad. It is immediately available for the containerized Android apps, not only photos, but also files and video files, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will also come to other devices like for example, the Mate 60 Pro that's still running Harmony S500. Um, also got an update, but uh, this one here is 501 and this one definitely has this feature right now. Pretty nice. So all in all, good improvements for the Huawei Pure X and a good second update. I already got one when I unboxed this device. I hope they can improve upon this a little bit more. Uh, what I'm missing, for example, is because by default it is recording in HDR Vivid for video, which I turned off right now but the converted to SDR or compatible format is not available in the gallery yet. I hope they can add this in as well as allow me to use my Huawei FreeBuds Pro 4 also as recording devices, as Bluetooth high-res recording devices, which is possible on the Pura 70 uh, Ultra that I have and the Mate 70 series, but it's not possible sadly on Harmony S5 devices right now. 
a feature that I miss um, and really hope they will add before I go to China with this phone here because I can, could use this phone and this wireless mics definitely for vlogging as well. But these are the internal mics. What do you think about those here? And 60 frames per second in, in a little bit of dim lit situation. Um, I think it's still doing an okayish kind of job. I'm looking forward to further improvements on the Pura X and will keep you updated as well. So subscribe to this channel, like, and if you have questions, write them down in the comment section. Be aware that I have like a part of uh, unboxing this device and showing you my first impressions as well as a part of uh, that shows you how to install Android and Google applications if you're interested in this as well. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.